A lot of you guys have asked me a variation of the questions. Do I think Kaufman Tactical will be included into the Twin Bros indictment for the super safety? And I figured I'd cover it in a video today just like a free CRS rocker can cover your empty Velcro space on your range bag as gun cases because it incorporates a Velcro backing that is more adhesive than a clingy ex high school sweetheart. And you can pick one up today at OnlyTacticalFans.MyShopify.com uh, and get the Velcro patch and not the clingy X. I guess the best place to start with a video like this is to talk about the similarities between the CRS case and the Hoffman Tactical case. And that is CRS had little to nothing to do with the company, uh, the auto key card, and Hoffman Tactical has little to do with the company Twin Bros LLC. Now, could they wrap Hoffman Tactical in a conspiracy case like they did CRS? Most definitely, they'd say Hoffman Tactical knew or should have known the Super City was a machine gun and him turning over or selling the design to the Twin Bros was key to the Twin Bros LLC breaking the law. Therefore, they all conspired to break the law together. Do I think the ATF will wrap him into an indictment? The answer is a reassounding hell no. Well, at least I hope not because I wouldn't put anything past these bastards just when you think they done the unthinkable they sink to an even lower level. So if I was Hoffman Tactical, I'd do my damnness to try and prepare for a possible indictment, but I wouldn't lose too much sleep over it because there are some major differences. One of the biggest differences is CRS was a big fat juicy ATF target. And while the prosecutor and the ATF can pretend this was about the AKC, they were name dropping Cirrus and myself from the indictment number one. And by the time I got subpoenaed to the grand jury, they were referring to CRS and myself as an unindicted co-conspirator. Let's not forget they were offering the AKC guy, Justin, a sweetheart plea deals to testify against CRS up to and including one year of community service. So what was Operation Lightning Strength really about? The evidence is clear. CRS, the auto key card guy Justin was just a rung and a ladder trying to get him. Now could this be the case with Hoffman Tactical? Maybe because so far the case is completely under wraps which suggests they are working on something bigger. The only reason we're even aware of the raid is because of a Twitter post Twin Bros LLC made. As of the time of preparing this video it reads it has been brought to our attention that the super safety are now deemed machine gun devices per the atf the raid of twin bros llc was over the super safeties and not for the pepper jacks we are no longer allowed to sell super safety kits we are sorry about all the unfulfilled orders and we'll be refunding everyone who placed orders on those items so yeah but again that doesn't mean they're working on hoffman tactical it just means they're working on something. The next biggest difference is I just don't think Hoffman Tactical called the federal prosecutor an incompetent cunt. I mean, he may have and we don't know about it, but as of right now, we're just going to say that didn't happen because of the lack of proof. And that is a big difference between Hoffman Tactical and CRS because while I get why he did it, I still wish it would have never happened because that arguably is the number one reason why CRS got indicted into a case even after they realized he had absolutely nothing to do with it. Moving right along, so let's recap real quick. They had their sights set on CRS, so they used the AKC to create Operation Lightning Strike to get their foot in the door. But after they realized the AKC was not his company and he had nothing to do with it because it was a legit advertising contract, by then it was already too late because the prosecutor had already gotten emotionally invested and the idea that Cirrus was involved and she was spurred along because of him calling her names on the internet. Boo fucking who. Like, stop. And then you have Cirrus raising money and securing legal counsel for the AKC guy, Justin, even though this isn't illegal. It was two out of the three biggest pieces of evidence that a uh, conspiracy happened. Again, emotionally invested trying to prove that he was a big bad guy, and Hoffman Tactical just doesn't face these kinds of issues. In my opinion, not even close. I personally feel like they're kicking around the idea of indicting him, but I don't really see that happening. But you can also never put it past the government, so yeah. So you're probably wondering what this is even about. In short, it's a product called the Super Safety. It's the next evolution in the semi-auto 
firearms technology. What it essentially does is reset your trigger for you so you don't have to consciously think about it. All you gotta do is think about is pulling the trigger to the rear. And I got the information from like an article because otherwise I didn't even know what it was. While this is not full auto, which has been infringed since 1934, you can achieve higher fire rates similar to full auto. Basically, tech has advanced to a point where you can no longer tell the difference when it comes to uh, rate of fire between fully auto and semi-auto. This has the ATF's heads like exploding. They can't tell the difference between a short barrel rifle and a pistol. They can't tell the difference between a semi-auto and a fully automatic. They're literally at the point where technology has made their jobs completely irrelevant and now they're kicking and screaming trying to hang on to as much power as they can. Unfortunately, destroying a bunch of innocent Americans lives in the process. Unfortunately, I have felt this firsthand because they've come after my family. I'm hoping the best for Hoffman Tactical and the twin bros because nobody should have to go through this. Nobody. I was lucky enough to have a bunch of supporters like you guys to help me uh, weather the storm and I'm thinking this is just how I'll end this video. Um, with a giant thank you to every single last one of you that watched me. Like it, it it means the world. Like we really couldn't have done it uh, or made it this far without you guys. So again, thank you. All right, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And if you guys would like to continue to support my family and I with all this crazy nonsense stuff still going on, um, there'll be links in the description such as like Amazon. And even when you click on the Amazon link, if you don't buy what's in the little box, just because you click that link for my channel, I get a kick pack. So I greatly appreciate it. And there's also other ways to support for us, such as like the best website on the planet of the earth, which is only tacticalfans.myshopify.com. Uh, so yeah, again, I thank you guys so much for everything and all the support and watching me. And until next time, guys, peace. Liberty. 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 Come on, board. So let's recap real quick. They had... All right, moving right along. So let's recap. Okay, moving right along. So let's re... Okay, moving right along. So let's recap. Recrop. Okay, moving right along. So let's... Cut! Liberty! All right, moving right along. So let's recap real quick. They had their sights set on CRS, so they used the AKC to create to create Puck! This was involved and she was spurred. Who's in the, oh, the theater theater's in the bathroom, huh? Oh, that's a long fist, man. Liberty, let him pee! Hi, chunk wicked. Chunk wicked, or don't be a beautiful girl. Yeah, you beautiful girl. Okay, Vader. Poppy! Come on, dude. Seriously, she's up on here again. She's up here again. Let's take another photo. Look at that. Poppy. Look at that little shithead. Poppy! Ugh. Don't make any noise. Poppy, come on. Poppy! This freaking cat. All the cats.